your uh, art with Clark. Hello, my art friends. Today we're gonna draw a portrait. So a portrait is a drawing of a person. Self-portrait, of course, is a drawing of yourself. Um, you need a pencil, piece of paper, eraser would be nice too. I like these white erasers. They're, they work really well, don't leave any marks behind. And um, think about the shape of a, a person's face. Um, I have a picture of my daughter here. It's kind of um, oval shape, right? Uh, maybe a little bit egg shape, but today we're gonna keep it really simple and we're gonna start with an oval. So I'm gonna go really lightly. Guys, when I draw, I keep my elbow just a little bit above the table and I just kind of rotate with my shoulder. That way it's easy peasy and I can move around real well. And I draw super lightly. Be sure not to squeeze that pencil, just relax. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna put in my oval and I'm going around like a car around a racetrack. And when I feel happy with my oval, I'll go back and I'll darken it in. So I feel pretty good about this, but darken it in. When I put in the hair, I might erase a little bit. So I didn't go too dark. I just want you guys to see what I'm doing here. All right, our friends, let's draw in the neck and the body, okay? So the neckline usually will come between the jaw and the chin right about there okay and then it's going to come down the shoulders are going to go past the head come down at a slight angle and then down we're going to come over here and do your very best to copy the other side uh oh i did not do a good job let me go ahead i'm going to expand it out a little bit Sometimes I think of drawing like shaping clay. You just kind of work on it until you feel happy with what you have on the paper. I still don't feel happy. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, our friends, let's put the eyes in first and you're gonna go to the middle of the oval and that's where the eyes go. I know that seems strange, but when you put the hair in, everything adjusts. So find the center, I think it's about right there. And let's go really simple. The one thing I don't want you guys to do is to just draw like dot, dot, smile. Now that's way too basic. But I tell you what, I want my eyes just a little bit closer together. We will start pretty simple and we will start with just the pupils. So let's color these in, okay? And we can get a more complex face just by doing a few little things, a few little changes, a few little lines can really make all the difference. So look, right above, making sure this line touches that eye I'm gonna draw almost like the top of a lemon. I'm gonna go through, do it on both sides. Now, it's looking more like human eyes, right? And look guys, we could get even more complex. We could draw in the bottom and then just like this. Now that's a little far away from that pupil. You either want it to touch the pupil or have just a slight amount of space between the pupil and the bottom eyelid, okay? So about like that. It, it's kind of different from person to person how that's gonna look. Okay guys, and then you can put some eyelashes in. I like to take and then as I put my eyelash, I lift up, almost like I'm brushing it on. Like this, lift up and I'm curving like this. Look at that, looking more realistic. Okay, and now, the way you do your eyebrows can really change the expression of a person. If your eyebrows go down, they look angry. Um, up, they might look frightened. Um, 
just straight across, kind of arching, maybe just sort of calm and, and uh, content and happy, right? So I'm gonna go with just sort of calm. So the eyebrows go the same length as the eye, just a little bit above it, okay? I'm gonna draw in just a simple line first, and then I'm gonna go back in and make it wider at the front and then more narrow towards this side. And you can just kind of shade that in. A little wider right here and then skinnier towards the back of the uh, eyebrow. Remember guys, when we're doing this, if I'm going too fast, you can always just pause the video, okay? All right, now the ears, let's do the ears next, okay? The ears are gonna be about even with the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose. And the bottom of the nose is gonna be about like right down here. We're gonna do really simple. We're just gonna do a C and a D, right? I'm gonna go from here. Make sure you get as close to the other one. And that's it. Um, you can draw this little line like that at the top. Let's don't go any more complicated than that. Now let's do a nose. Here's a simple way to do a nose. Go right about a little bit above the tear duct right here. And this is the bridge of the nose. Okay, we're gonna go down, just slight curve in it. Down to almost halfway between the chin and the eyes. Okay guys, and then let's do the nostrils next. It almost looks like a sideways tear, like that. Okay. And let's keep it really simple. We're just gonna draw a C and a D, like that. And we're gonna call that done. That'll be our nose. Okay, and then your mouth, your expression, whether it be a smile or a frown, really helps to show your emotion, okay? So I feel happy right now, so I'm going to draw a smile and the corners of your mouth will pretty much line up with the pupils, the dark part of your eyes. So I'm gonna go from here to there, okay? And then we're gonna come in and you can draw like a squished letter M, come down at the bottom, and then just draw that. And then we can draw a couple little smile lines in. And for the chin, look, we could just draw that little squished rainbow line. Now, hair, let's talk about hair. Um, hair can really vary from person to person. I personally have very short hair. It's almost bald. Uh, but people are quite different. I got one of my favorite artists here on this soda can. It's Bob Ross, and his hair goes way up. Look at that. I mean, that's two finger lengths. That's almost the, the, the length of his head. So his hair goes really high. So most of us, when we first start learning, we just draw a little bit of hair on the top like this. But really, most people, it goes up quite a bit. Here's a picture of my daughter, and her head is here. But look, it goes up quite a bit, too. So... I would say, let's go up about there and about right here. Another thing, I'll take my daughter here, the hairline isn't way up here. It's actually usually about halfway between the eyes and the, uh, and the top of the head. So I'm gonna come in and draw the hairline right there. Since I'm looking at Bailey, I'm kind of getting inspiration from her hairline. And this is where your eraser comes in handy. Let's get rid of the top of the skull for the line we drew. And then her hair in that picture went down about almost shoulder length, right? And then we're just gonna draw the shapes in like that, come in. And then look, we can just draw some lines to represent the hair. Come on down, she's got some curls. We can add the lines for that. Okay, 
And then this side over here on her went down straighter and looked like it had a little bit of a curl coming in. Draw some lines on the ends. I usually draw lines on the ends and the beginning and that represents hair. Let's draw some over here. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Okay, guys, and then we need some clothes, right? So look, we can keep this pretty simple. You could draw a V in right here, or you could just draw a curvy line. I think I'll just draw, I'll draw a V in right there. And that's all we need for the uh, clothing, and that is a fun, basic way to draw a portrait. Hope you enjoyed it.